So you're bringing also in, a, I think, an interesting additional aspect to the term empathy, which often uh, we think about more in the context of one-on-one -on -one or small group relationships. But empathy is also opening up our capacity to listen to the world at large, to a much bigger field, to a market, to a potential in society. Building, building on that, um, I was curious how you spoke about this energy for senior leaders, um, that this is not just something we become like soft and, and calm and it takes our edges away. So how would you say uh, mindfulness practices help actually a senior leader to stay better in a, in a, in a difficult situation, to, be, to, to increase his strengths, to increase his um, capacity to hold difficult conversations? I think there's a huge misconception going on uh, for many people, um, like a bias that mindfulness is, as you said, in the wellness corner. And I'm in particular curious how to talk to senior leaders and or people in, in, in a leadership capacity wherever, um, how these capacities help them to become more, to become more efficient and stronger in what they're doing and also have more fun at the same time. I think one way of looking uh, at all kind of inner work practices, not only mindfulness, but the wide array that existed for thousands of years in diverse cultures, is they were a scientific approach, a very intentional, uh, clear, uh, repetitive approach that millions of people went through to develop their potential. Mm. So how do leaders or anybody get more effective? It's to really be in deep contact with their potential and create an understanding about what limits their potential to manifest mm. and then skillful means of how to work with these limitations to set free their potential. So what we are really offering here are skillful means, uh, ways to really engage intentionally a process of development that happens for successful leaders in some way in their lives, but that can be greatly enhanced by supporting them to do it intentionally. And I think for every person, this is a very uh, individual process, but it can be supported also by ways that work for many people. And they all have to do for me with three core things. The one is increasing awareness. And awareness actually is something that, as you know, really requires training. If you and I walk into the rainforest of Brazil, we will see a fraction of what a native Brazilian a person who for generations have lived in that forest and hunted and gathered there will recognize. So that's a perception to the outside in the same way that applies to the inside. We have a tremendous um, inner reservoir of potential that we often don't become aware of. And if we increase the awareness, we can discover this internal and external world that is incredibly rich. Mm. And this is kind of the step into perception. Then there is the step, uh, in a way, to digest all this uh, deeper uh, awareness and to bring about a deep understanding, a synthesis of all this data. And that is an additional step. It's really not enough to be uh, just mindful. Mm -hmm. You need to also integrate what you're perceiving in a way that really transforms you, that impacts you, that opens up new insight, that opens up motivation. So, and that of course uh, does not only include our mind, <laughs> but includes all of us. Right? And of course, mindfulness doesn't, it's a translation. It doesn't mean really to become more aware of what's in your mind. It becomes aware about what's in the whole of you and the whole of us. 
So increasing awareness, increasing understanding, and then through that enabling action. That's the third factor for me. That engagement with the world where you get constant feedback, which is very humbling, right? Because you can have a deep awareness and deep realization of essential qualities and you know, expansive states of awareness. But how are they when you're in the middle of a conflictual situation at work or in society? Um, how do you then apply them? So I think this action element then provides really the next grist for the mill of awareness and understanding, which then feeds the next action, which becomes really a dialectic interactive process that slowly refines our capacity to lead and do anything in life.